Hello and welcome to an even newer dating game, Nashville's own televised dating service. We have a swinging cross-section of young men on today's show. They're all terrific bachelors hoping to meet a very special lady. So let's meet them. <laughs> Bachelor number one is a musician who's in five bands. He's looking for a woman who appreciates good beer, good music, and good times. A fan of the Nature Channel, whiskey, and cat juggling. Don't juggle too many cats at once, please. From McMinnville, Tennessee, meet John Judkins. <laughs> Bachelor number two is a filmmaker who's seeking someone sassy, smart, and sane. He says he can cook three things, and he's into useless pop culture trivia and fox hunting, which I guess explains why he's here. A native of Huntsville, Alabama, welcome Seth Graves. <laughs> All right. Bachelor number three is a pizza maker and screen printer who says his three sexiest qualities are 2020 vision, having a rare blood type, and his Springsteen karaoke skills. <laughs> He's into drawing and bull riding, hopefully not at the same time. Hailing from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, say hello to Sam Jaco. <laughs> Of course, our bachelorette doesn't know anything about our bachelors as she's been isolated in a soundproof booth backstage. Let's bring her out. <laughs> Isn't that cool how she magically appeared? Our bachelorette comes from Dover, Delaware, and says she spends most of her time teaching Norse mythology and dancing, so we like her already. She also <laughs> enjoys cooking, painting, and acting like a Muppet. In a man, she says she's looking for a mix of Salvador Dali, Gene Wilder, and David Bowie. So good luck, fellas. <laughs> Everybody meet Brittany Fluman. So how are you, Brittany? I'm doing great. I made it to the stage blindfolded without tripping and falling. I'm fabulous. <laughs> Now, you don't know anything about these young men. You're just going to choose your date based only on his answers. Correct. All right, are you ready to meet them? I certainly am. All right, let's do it. Okay. Let's hear from the bachelors. Say hello, bachelor number one. Hello, darling. <laughs> bachelor number two. Hello, over there. <laughs> and bachelor number three. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> all right, so Some that was something, wasn't it? <laughs> nice variety there. Yep, you heard all their voices. Now, remember that bachelors not chosen for this date will receive double-knit wool slacks courtesy of Gaylord, the premier men's clothier. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, are you ready to get to know the bachelors a bit more? I certainly am. All right, let's ask them some questions. Go ahead and ask the first question. Okay. Bachelor number one. If your personality were a cake, what would the secret ingredient be? Gotta be butter, baby. <laughs> oh, man. That was the right answer. Bachelor number two, same Th question. Oh, uh, THC. It always takes things to the next level. And that's, what I, that's yeah. what I'm all about. Next level stuff. You, you mean like in a spiritual way? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> spiritual, physical. Mental. Biblical. Biblical. Preferably. <laughs> Bachelor number three, if you were to stay a night in a fantasy suite, describe your ideal theme. Jeez, uh, probably way, way deep into the mountains. Like 45 miles deep into the mountains. Okay. No cell phones. No calls for help. Nope. No 911. <laughs> no 911. No way for me to reach anyone. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Bachelor number one, same question. Hmm. Probably some bear rugs, uh, Vikings, and nudity. <laughs> Have we dated before? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Bachelor number two. If we went to a fancy restaurant and I asked you to feed me, describe what you would do. I would, I would take the fork or a spork, or whatever it is they have to offer as far as utensils go. Uh, you know, I would, I, would, I would scoop up the food, and I would gently sort of raise it up 
and tell you that the airplane was coming into the hangar. <laughs> I didn't even do like the and the rest is all you. <laughs> I appreciate the warning. That was really sweet. Bachelor number three. I set your house on fire. <laughs> what do you grab in? Would you still call me? Uh, if you set my house on fire, I'd probably grab like family pictures and as much money as I could. And I definitely don't think I'd call you if you set my house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been unintentional, though. Well, if it was an accident, these things happen, but. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> Bachelor number one, I perform with a belly dance troupe, and dance is a huge part of my life. If you were an exotic dancer, what song would you perform to? Hmm. Well, I did learn the Macarena in 10th grade, so uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, what song would I perform to? Mm -hmm. Oh, yowzers. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, probably, do Haas, does that count? <laughs> yes, that counts. <laughs> OK, bachelor number two, same question. Well, um, I danced myself right out of the womb. So T-Rex, Cosmic Dancer, would be <laughs> my pick. Nice. OK, bachelor number three, same question. Uh, definitely Mambo number five. I think that's the only song I can to. Some good variety going on there. OK. Bachelor number one, complete this sentence. The measure of a man is in his... Hair. <laughs> All right. Bachelor number two, same question. Uh, the measure of a man is his ability to answer questions like the measure of a man is <laughs> blank. Did you have some of that THC cake before you came? <laughs> Bachelor number three. Same question? No. Oh. <laughs> I've got a really good one for you. Awesome. If you were a drag queen, <laughs> what would your name be? Stella, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number one, same question. Hmm. Let me see. Smooth Bertha. <laughs> All right. Bachelor number two, same I, question. I, I would go with something like kind of kind of innocent but still kind of sexy, like like uh, cherry poppins. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Bachelor number one, imagine that a nuclear disaster caused the collapse of the government. America is now a scorched, barren hellscape patrolled by armed gangs of starving children and mutants where only brute strength and cunning can ensure your survival. Would you still expect me to shave my legs? Hell no, let that stuff grow, girl. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all down with the, with the, with the original, original scene there. That's how, that's how it happens, let it go. Oh no, did you all hear that buzzer sound just then? It looks like our time is up, Brittany, so you're gonna have to decide which bachelor are you going to choose for your swinging date? Can I phone a friend? <laughs> Is that an option? It's all you. It's all yeah. you. OK, well. Which bachelor will it be? Let's see. If I chose bachelor number one, he would bake me extra buttery cake. And oh, how I do love butter. <laughs> and bear rugs. I like those, too. Mm -hmm. Bachelor number two, if I were to go on a date with him, he might slip me THC. <laughs> but I do like T-Rex, and the THC might enhance that experience. Okay. <laughs> Bachelor number three would take me deep, deep, deep into the mountains. <laughs> deep into the mountains. No innuendo there, and no cell phones. <sighs> this is such a hard choice. I appreciate how much thought you're giving it. <laughs> but unfortunately, we're running out of okay. time here. You're going to have to choose. So based on 
Their answers, their alluring voices. You know, I really like a guy who doesn't care if I shave my legs. Bachelor number one. Bachelor number one. <laughs> All right, you chose bachelor number one, but let's first meet the bachelors you didn't choose. Bachelor number two is from Huntsville, Alabama. He writes and makes films, and he's into grilled cheese and leather crafts. Meet Seth Graves. Thank you, Seth. If you'll just stand right over here. Right over here, sir. Okay. <laughs> Bachelor number th for three is from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. He's a printmaker, lawbreaker, and clearly a fan of the boss. He's a musician, too, so that's something, and an expert in microwave cookery. It's Sam Jaco. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Now, you fellas had some really great answers, and to show our appreciation, you'll both be receiving state-of-the-art fiberglass reinforced luggage from American Adventurer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, are you ready to meet the fellow you did choose? Absolutely. Bachelor number one is from McMinnville, Tennessee. He's a Civil War reenactor and multi-instrumentalist, and he sells records. He's John Judkins. Come on out here, John. Meet this lovely lady. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Aww. Hey. And now for your big swinging date, You'll be flown to the Rusty Anchor Resort in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Sitting on beautiful Lake Havasu, you'll enjoy the sights and outdoor activities such as water skiing, swimming, or simply sunbathing on the many motor boats available for your enjoyment. You're both sure to have a swell time with your dating game chaperone. And also, <laughs> and also you're going to get a gift certificate to the Stone Fox. Thank you very much, Stone Fox. All right. What a great day. Congratulations, you two. We wish you the very best. We wish all our viewers luck and love. And come see us next time on an even newer dating game. <laughs>